Hello and welcome to another episode of Cypro Paranormal and Urban Exploration. My name is Mike. And I'm Jamie. And today we're out in Akron, Ohio at a very legendary mall. We are at the Rolling Acres Mall, a place that I've always wanted to go. But I don't think it's going to work out too well. No, they've demolished a lot of it. The only things that are standing are the anchor stores. Yeah, and everything's rubble inside. Right, so prepare because this is going to be cool to somebody. <laughs> Someone. Someone. No more urban exploration out here, guys. Yep. Now, yeah, this is probably one of the last ones, so yep. I'm excited. Yep. All right. Peace. Whoop, whoop. When I asked Jamie, where would you like to go and explore? The very first thing out of his mouth was the Rolling Acres Mall in Akron, Ohio. Around 2006, this mall started closing in various stages. It became an urban explorer's paradise. Since Rolling Acres was open, there have been many tragedies that have taken place on the grounds. Due to YouTube's strict monetization policy, we can't really talk about the tragedies that occurred on the Rolling Acres property. Come on, YouTube. You've got to let up on that policy just a little bit. Because Cypro is advertiser friendly. But if you the viewer want to check out some of the stories here are the headlines to look up on google rolling acres started a slow decline beginning in the 1990s some of the stories as to why are very interesting to look up now let's talk about some cool things that have happened in this mall's history rolling acres mall opened on august 6 1975 it was expanded several times and had a max capacity of 140 stores with five anchor stores. At the time, it was actually the largest mall in the United States. The mall had two floors. The anchor stores changed several times, but before closure, the mall had a Sears, a JC's Five Star Outlet, a Dillard's Clearance Center, a Macy's, and a Target. A number of YouTubers have come and actually documented this when it was intact, including Aces Adventures, Dan Bell, Bright Sun Films, Urbex US, just to mention a few. Check out their videos if you want to see what the mall looked like when it was still intact. Just to let you guys know, security is a very, very tight thing around these malls in Ohio. Prior to this location, we were checking out another abandoned mall. I believe the mall was called the Westland Mall. As soon as we got into the parking lot and close enough to the mall, we began seeing a car following us. Every time we would slow down, the car would slow down. Every time we would turn, the car would turn. The scary thing is, I didn't see anything on that car identifying it as a security vehicle. So there was no way in Hades I was going to stop for some car that was trying to pull us over. In an aggressive move, that car actually almost T-boned us to get us out of the damn parking lot. We eventually left because I didn't want damage to my car and we didn't want to get in trouble. So that uh, is the end of that mall. So that's why we're over here at this mall. Little did we know that this mall would be patrolled as well. Apparently Ohio has some very, very strict trespass laws. So basically, if you're on a property that does not belong to you, you can be removed and charged with trespassing, which could either lead to jail time or a charge of a misdemeanor. You guys really need to lighten up over there in Ohio. We're just trying to take pictures. Apparently in Ohio, signs do not need to be posted. It is considered trespassing if you are on a property that you do not belong to. I happened to learn this the hard way while filming at this mall. And that's why in this video, you wind up with a lot of exterior shots. As soon as I got out to start filming inside the mall, I was immediately ejected by security. As we turn this curve, you can actually see the entrance where you can go in and out freely. But again, Cypro does not condone trespassing. Jamie, what do you think about this mall music that's playing in the background? Kind of reminds you of the mall, doesn't it? A mall in the 1970s. Oh yeah.
So here you see the JC's Five Star Outlet. Basically, JC's Five Star Outlet is a JC Penny wholesale store. So it used to be a JC Penny, then it became an outlet store. An outlet store with clearance prices. The night that we were actually checking this place out, we did notice that there were some other urban explorers there as well. We also noticed that two of the people there were doing some spray painting and stuff and tagging. Little do they know that their tag will not last. Don't go out there and graffiti people, come on, honestly. So as you can see, this is what's left. Big pile of rubble. It's very howly out here. As you can tell, Mike's. So Mike was not being a jerk. He was actually honking to warn me that security was approaching. Security was pretty nice. They just said that they did not want us on the ground. Stop. I am a jerk. And I, I'm just going to say that out loud. Any other day, I would totally do that to freak you out. Thanks, man. Now here, for your viewing pleasure, are some iconic pictures of the Rolling Acres Mall before the demolition. So why are the lights still on at the old Macy's store? Good question. That's because there are two storage facilities that are currently being used. One is in the old Target store, the other is in the old Sears. These stores happen to be on the same power grid as the old Macy's. Interesting fact. There is also a recycling facility on the grounds. As the Rolling Acres Mall is being demolished, they are actually recycling all of the litter as well as some of the building material that was used in the mall. So the rest of this tour is self-guided and self-explanatory. We'll catch you next week with another Cypro Paranormal and Urban Exploration. See you next week. Peace. What, what? I mean, whoop, whoop. I mean, yeah.